Hey guys, thank you and welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Tasha. I'm coming in today to show you how to remove your cap driver off of your machine and also show you how to switch out the needle plates on your machine. Also in the description box, this time I have included timestamps. See the description box to see what I have timestamped for this video. I want to start off by removing the cap driver off of the machine. First, we want to move the um, this off first. I want to look close. You see a clamp here on the left hand side. You see one here on the right side. Another knee. You see this one here. And the object is to press all three of those clamps at the same time. That releases it. And then you slide it out some. And then you rotate it either left or right and then pull it off of the machine. Now you want to, we're going to remove this part so we can remove the rest of the cap driver off. You want to use your Allen wrench. We have one on the left hand side. And you have one over here too on the right hand side. To remove it, you'll use your Allen wrench. And it's number three. That's the one that we're going to use. That's going to be the size that we're going to use. And this is the one on the left hand side of the machine. You want to be sure to turn it to the right so you don't strip it out. You just want to loosen it. And if you go to the right of the machine, remember you want to turn, you want to turn it to the right to loosen it up. If you loosen that up on both sides, you need to just go in and just slide it off. I just tighten those back up just a little bit because you don't want them to fall out. turn into the left to tighten it up and that's it so now the cap driver is off when you first get your machine this is the needle plate that's on there the needle plate that's on there is actually for hats there is another needle plate in your toolbox but this is the one for hats it's a little higher than the one that for flat embroidery so I plan to do flat embroidery, so I'm going to switch these needle plates out. This is the tool that came in your toolbox. And there are three screws. Got one, two, and three screws in that needle plate. Be sure to not lose those little screws. 
because you use the same screws to put the other needle plate on. So you remove that. Hold on to the screw. I'm going to remove that needle plate. And you want to install the next one the same way. And there are three different, three screws. The smaller screw goes in the front hole. Yes, I just use a dime. The tool keep running and bumping into everything. So yes, I did just use a dime. So the needle plate for flat embroidery has been installed. This is the tool I was trying to mimic something like this. This actually came with my brother machine. This is what you use to change things out. I, I did not use it just now to remove the needle plate or to replace the needle plate because this part here is too big to fit down in the screw. But um, that is what I was trying to mimic with the dime. So do whatever works for you though. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching until the end. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was helpful, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And until next time, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.